Hard tech dates back to the 16th century, when Roman armies were given busulantum. British soldiers' rations during this time consisted of one gallon of beer and one pound of hardtack. Hardtack is most known for being part of the soldiers' rations during the Civil War. Much of the hardtack that the Confederate Army used was left over from the Mexican-American War 15 years prior because of the naval blockade. Because of this, the, to the soldiers, it was a treat. The Union Army's rations of hardtack was 9 to 10 each per day. Soldiers' rations also included meat, coffee, sugar, and hardtack, 6 to 8 for 3 day ration. The other quantities were over a pound of beef and a one and a half pound of soft bread, cornmeal, or hardtack. One soldier recalled an experience about hardtack. A briar gade officer of the day called out sharply to the sum of the men. Throw that hardtack out of the trenches. Don't you know, men? You've been told not to throw your rations in the trenches. Prompted to obey, the men threw out the hardtack while saying, We've thrown it out several times, sir but it will crawl back. Union soldiers called hardtack tooth duelers and sheet and iron crackers because they were so hard. When they were infested with small bugs, the soldiers called them weevils or worm castles because they were the home to maggots and weevils. The ingredients of hardtack consist of two cups of flour, a half a tablespoon of salt, and a half or three-fourth cup of water. Step 1. Preheat oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Step 2. Combine flour with salt in mixing bowl. Step 3. Add water and mix with hands until the dough comes together. Step 4. Roll out on a table to about 1 third inch thickness. Step 5. Use a knife to cut 3x3 three three squares from the dough. Step 6. Place on a baking sheet. Use a dowel to make 16 evenly spaced holes in each square. Step 7. Bake for at least 4 hours, turning over once halfway through baking. Final step, cool on a rack in a dry room. There are many ways to eat hardtack. You can eat it plain, crumble it up in coffee, which was the more common way, crumble it up in soup, or soften them in water and fry them with some bacon grease. In the Union, one favorite dish was called skilly gully which was salted pork fried with hardtack crumbled into the mixture. The confederate version was called kush. To crumble it, soldiers would whack it with the butt of their rifles. Since hardtack was so dense, soldiers used it as a small plate. Besides coffee and soup, hardtack could be paired with beer. Most common kind was Kentucky bourbon and rum. Some benefits of hardtack was it was cheap, easy transport because of size and density, and it wouldn't spoil due to its repeated baking that took the moisture out.